Dion Vamoltka, and I'm the driver of the number 77, Doran Racing, PR Newswire, South African Airways McDonald's, Daytona Prototype, and the Grand Am Road Racing Series. And welcome to another week of my video blog. I hope you guys have all been having a great time this last week, and uh, hope everyone's excited for Montreal this weekend. It's going to be live on Speed TV this Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern. Yet another race. It's going to be great. It'll be at the Circuit de Gévaudan up in Montreal. I've never driven there before. It'll be my first time. And I'll tell you one thing, I'm really excited for the challenge of driving there. It's going to be fun to learn the track. It's going to be a different place. It's extremely, extremely technical for a driver to learn. A lot of fast left-right sweepers. You have to use some curbs. You're right up to the wall sometimes. It's a street circuit, so get millimeters to the wall. It's extremely hard on the brakes. You know, We'll actually be taking some driver cooling aids away from us and putting it towards the brakes to make sure our brakes kind of keep more air flowing on them to make sure they last the full two-hour distance. And... In fact, we'll, we'll be seeing some extremely high top end speeds as well. We're on some of the lowest downforce that we'll, we'll, we see all season. So that with some very high speeds, some close racing action, close to the walls, tight circuit, close GT action. I know it's going to be a fun race. Hopefully you guys tune in and watch and uh, be ready for the Doran Racing Vuvuzela car again with uh, Mark Patterson and I. We're bringing back the South African uh, theme we had in Montreal. I mean, sorry, in Watkins Glen last race, everyone loved it. I know I personally loved seeing it out there. It was a beautiful car. I loved seeing my flag and Mark's flag on the race car and driving it. It was a special, special experience, you know, really having the country support, uh, home support for us. And we're going to bring it out and hopefully do well at Montreal and race it towards the front. So we're working really hard the last two weeks to make sure that happens with, with Doran Racing and Mark and I. And so we're going to try to do and qualify and bring it on for the race as well. So we'll see what happens, so hopefully you tune in and root for us, and see you guys out there. Now comes a time where I like to answer some questions from you guys, the fan. This one comes from Dan in Alabama. Dan asks me, you know, what's it like driving in the wet? Why does the car react to, how does, what's different about the wet? And Dan, the wet is my favorite condition. I absolutely love driving the wet, and a lot of drivers will tell you that, because cars dancing around on you, your seesaw on the wheel, you're fighting against the car, trying to keep it on track. You're on the limit. Everything you do is magnified in the wet. Every input you put in, it's like there's eggs underneath all your pedals that you're trying not to break because you have to be so smooth with the throttle and the brake or else you'll get some wheel spin on the throttle and you'll be off the track before you even know what happened. All your inputs in the steering wheel has to be very decisive, very smooth to keep it on track. And In fact, we drive completely different lines even in the wet than we do in the dry. We'll be doing a thing that us drivers call a rim shot we drive right around the outside of the course, which is the farthest way around, but it's where all the grip is. So you can flow more speed through there. So when you're right on the outside of the track, you know, centimeters from slipping off track, the car is coming around down you, the rear end's dancing, your seesaw on the wheel, you're trying to get the throttle. Sometimes you're even a higher gear than what you normally are because you can't, you can't afford to have any wheel spin. It's a lot of fun. It's extremely challenging, which is always kind of a fun thing for a driver. We enjoy the challenge. And... Driving in the wet's definitely a fun time. I really enjoy it on, on the track, on the streets, anywhere it is. I love when it rains and go out there and have some fun, especially us at Doran Racing because Kevin provides us with a great wet car, wet weather car, as well as a normal weather car as well on the dry. And Mark Patterson's a great driver in both conditions. So, you know, we're kind of hoping for wet races in Montreal and in Utah, but, you know, there's two races left. We'll see what we can get. I know it's exciting for you guys and, Coming down to the end, everything's getting tight now. All the championships are on people's minds. So we'll see how the action picks up over the last few races because I think it definitely will. Here at Montreal, always a fun race. It's near the end of the season, so I think it'll be even more fun. So make sure you tune in to Speed TV this Saturday, live at 2 p.m. Eastern, and root on the Doran Racing, PR Newswire, South African Airways, McDonald's, Daytona Prototype with Mark Patterson and I. Thanks for tuning in to my video blog, and I'll see you guys next week.